Usa ka tingog. Usa ka katawhan. Cebu Catholic Television Network. Network. Good evening, brothers and sisters throughout the Philippines and worldwide, especially in Hong Kong, in Canada, and some brothers and sisters in Australia, and of course in the United States and in UK. This is another night that the Lord has made for us to be with you. So let us welcome our hearts and open the hearts on this opening of the prayer meeting online. The sound of the shofar, a call to gathering. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. To protect, to bind, and cast out. I place myself in the presence of Jesus Christ and submit to His Lordship. I put on God's armor so as to be able to resist the devil's tactics. I accept salvation from God to be my helmet and receive the Word of God from the Spirit to use as a sword. In the name of Jesus Christ, crucified and risen, I bind all spirits of ancestral bondage and curse, spirits of deception, destruction, fear, hatred, occult, and all forms of sin. I also bind the influence of any lost or fallen soul who may be present, and all emissaries of the satanic headquarters or any coven of witches or warlocks or Satan worshippers who may be present in some preternatural way. In the name of Jesus Christ and by the merits of His precious blood, I break and dissolve every curse, hex, seal, spell, sorcery, bond, snares, trap device, lie, stumbling block, obstacle, deception, diversion or distraction, spiritual chain or spiritual influence, also every disease of body, soul, mind, or spirit placed upon us or in this place or on any of the persons, places, and things mentioned by any agent or brought on us by our own mistakes or sins. I now place the cross of Jesus Christ between myself and all generations in my family tree that all be cleansed in His precious blood. Father. Please assign the angels and saints to protect and assist me. In the name of Jesus, your Son, I take authority and bind all powers and forces in the air, on the ground, in the water, in the underground, in the netherworld, in nature and in fire. You are the Lord over the entire universe, and I give you the glory for your creation. In your name, I bind all demonic forces that have come against us and our families, and I seal all of us in the protection of your precious blood that was shed for us on the cross. Mary, our mother, we seek your protection and intercession with the sacred heart of Jesus for us and our families. Surround us with your mantle of love to discourage the enemy. Saint Michael and our guardian angels, Come defend us and our families in battle against all the evil ones that roam the earth. In the name of Jesus, I bind and command all powers and forces of evil to depart right now away from us, our homes and our lands. And we thank you, Lord Jesus, for you are a faithful and compassionate God. Amen. Consecration to Mary, Our Lady of Nazareth. O Mary, the Father sent His Spirit to overshadow and empower you. 
his son as your child to depend on you. I too give my whole self to you. I consecrate to you, O Mother and Queen, my body with all its senses, my soul with all its faculties, my heart with all its affections, for you to give to Jesus and mold to his likeness. Take all that I am, that I do, and give this to the Holy Spirit to form Jesus in me. At the foot of the cross, he entrusted me to you. Take and unite me to Jesus crucified, humbly obedient to the Father, fully yielded to the Spirit in love. May he be the Lord of my life and of men, and his Spirit, the praise and glory of the Father. Amen. Prayer for the process of the beatification of the servant of God, Bishop Chofelo B. Kamomot. Almighty and ever-living God, it was your grace and the love of you that made your servant, Chofelo Kamomot, devote his life as priest and bishop, a life of self-abnegation, constant prayer and generous love for the poor and the needy. Grant that his virtues provide a lasting example for all and merit the approval of the Church that he be raised to the altars. As a sign of your benevolence to your servant's cause, we humbly implore you to bestow upon us this favor. Here, let us mention our request. In the name of Jesus, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever, Amen. And to begin this evening, we will have the enthronement and the reading of the gospel by our dear sister, Lani Naharo. of the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. On another occasion, Jesus began to teach by the sea. A large crowd gathered around him so that he got into a boat on the sea and sat down. The whole crowd was beside the sea on land, and he taught them at length in parables 
and in the course of his instruction, he said to them, Hear this, a sower went out to sow. As he sowed, some seed fell on the path, and the birds came and ate it up. Other seed fell on rocky ground, where it had little soil. It sprang up at once because the soil was not deep. And when the sand rose, it was scorched and it withered for lack of roots. Some seed fell among thorns, and thorns grew, grew up and choked it, and it produced no grain. And some seed fell on rich soil and produced fruit. It came and grew and yielded 30, 60, and 100 fold. He added, whoever has ears to hear or to hear. And when he was alone, those present along with the 12 questioned him about parables. He answered them, The mystery of the kingdom of God has granted to you, but to those outside everything comes in parables, so that they may look and see, but not perceive, and hear and listen, but not understand, in order that they may not be converted and be forgiven. Jesus said to them, do you not understand this parable? Then how will you understand any of the parables? The sower saws this word. These are the ones on the path where the word is sown. As soon as they hear, Satan comes, comes out at once and take away the sword in them. And these are the rocky ones on the ground. And when they hear the word receive, it wants in joy. But have no roots, they last only for a time. Then when tribulation or persecution comes because of the word, they quickly fall away. Those sown among thorns are another sort. They are the people who hear the word. But worldly anxiety, the lure of the riches, and the craving for other things intrude and choke the word, and it bears no fruit. But those sown on rich soil are the ones who hear the word, and accept it and bear fruit thirty and sixty and a hundredfold. The good news of our salvation. Brothers and sisters, are you ready? Are you ready there? Prepare yourself for the praise and worship with our Brad Alan Abelgas. Oasis of Love Cebu, hello, hello world. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. Do you know Jesus? Can we call out the name Jesus, brothers and sisters? Jesus. Say Jesus! Jesus. Do you know Jesus? Jesus. Amen. Amen. Who does not know our Lord Jesus? But the question is, does He know us? <laughs> the Gospel, we can read in the Gospel. Some people were knocking at the door, Lord, Lord, let us in. But the Lord says, who are you? I do not know you. Lord, we were with you casting demons out. We were with you healing. I do not know you, the Lord said. But you know, sisters and brothers in Christ, I know that you do know the Lord Jesus. Let us settle down. Settle down in front of your TV sets. Settle down in front of your laptop, your computer, and let us all together listen to this song. Yeah. 
by name, each and every one of us, and our brothers and sisters, especially in this very extraordinary times that we are undergoing, each of us must be in a very, particularly sad moment in our lives. Many of us now have been left jobless because of the pandemic. Many of us are restricted in our homes. There might be there might be our sisters there now who are trying to to meet to, trying to be, to meet the ends in the family. Wherever you are now, whatever situation you are in brothers and sisters Jesus knows you by name and now that we know that our Lord Jesus knows us let us talk to him in Matthew chapter 7 verses 7 to 8 he said ask and it will be given to you seek and you will find knock and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receives. And he who seeks, finds. And to him who knocks, it will be opened. Brothers and sisters, let us turn to our Lord Jesus, the Son of God. He who saves us. He who paid the cost for us.
times we ask for healing physical healing but many times we also forget the more important and the more valuable things in life spiritual healing 
Because brothers and sisters, when you are spiritually healed, your body just follows. In Luke chapter 5 verse 23, Jesus asks, Is it easier to say, your sins are forgiven you, or to say, get up and walk? You know, with forgiveness of our sins, there also comes healing. Now we get to ask God, Lord, have I been healed? Am I healed? Listen to the words of Jesus answering you. Have faith in God. Truly I tell you, if anyone says to this mountain, Go, throw yourself into the sea. And does not doubt in their heart, but believes that what they say will happen, it will be done for them. Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours and when you stand praying if you hold anything against anyone forgive them so that your father in heaven may forgive you your sins mark 11 verses 22 and 23 you see brothers and sisters there is healing in forgiveness there is healing when we are being forgiven and we can only be forgiven by the Lord God the Father when we also know how to forgive the Lord is speaking to us now which is easier to say your sins are forgiven you or to say get up and be healed you have been healed in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Have you said yes to the Lord? Have you cast aside your pride, your fears? Have you said yes to the Lord? Come on, brothers and sisters. Let us say yes to the Lord.
Praise the Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. And now another night with our dear Tatay Donong for the healing, for the gospel, for the reflection, and for the reminders as we are here. I always remember he says that all the time. This is not only for us, but you there who is enjoying this prayer meeting online. Share this blessing. Share this. This is one of our mission to our brothers and sisters who need this, who wants to be back to the Lord. So this prayer meeting is again another time, another chance for everyone, the opportunity of brothers and sisters to be together on this prayer meeting online. Again, let's have our dear Tatay Dodong. May gabi mga kaigsunan. Merkulis na sad sa gabi prayer meeting na to. Atong date matag Merkulis. Sama sa nandang nga mga Merkulis matag usa ka na to sa atong tagsa-tagsa ka panimalay na kita mag abot sa usa ka lugar dinhi sa atong prayer meeting. Bisan tuod ka mo lain-lain nga mga lugar lain lain ng mga country, no? Kaysa atong counts dere, mabutag pila kalibo, no? Pagkanindot sa ginoo. Kay kung wala ka ding pandemic, di tamaso din eh, ang tanan nga nanambong sa prayer meeting. So, karoon na nung pandemic, perting daghana, no? Kay makita man ito sa count dere. Wapay labot ni ang nagtanaw sa television kana sa live streaming na na no so yata karon din ni eh, another prayer meeting night the lord is very happy to see you that niya kita nag abot ta sab karong gabi una makaigsoonan karong gabi una ang atong pagatukihon ang pulong sa Gino the word of god this week invites us to grow in the art of listening to the invitation of Jesus and following Him as fishers of men. Ang atong pagpaminaw kaniya sa mga pulong aron kita mahimong kining 
Saning binisaya sa mananagat ba? Manakupog isda. Pero atong panakpun kalag. But sometimes we want to do without listening to what God wants us to do. Muna, what tamaminaw. No? The word of God this week invites us very clear kung siya itong pagkabuhaton. No? Di na sa Mateo 11.15 na gingon. God says, Whoever has ears, let him hear. Kinsa ka itong dunay dunggan, paminaw. No? God gave us two ears, but only one mouth. Nga naman, duha may dunggan niya, usaray ba, ba, nga naman. That's because God wanted us to spend twice as much time listening as talking. Kay kun unsay mo suod mo may mugawas. Kun minus ang mo suod minus ang mo gawas. Mo nang duha aron daghan ang mo suod aron madaisik na tus pagpagawas sa tuba ba, no? It's because listening is twice as hard as talking. Mas lisod maminaw kaysa magsulti. Sometimes it's like this. We believe we understand what we think, what he said, but we are not sure that what he heard is not he meant. Lahi kay ang kinira bang magsulti lai ng iyang ipasabot kita sa naminaw sa lai sa nang atong pagsabot. Mo man na nitaboros Bible na to ba? Ang uban magbasa sila ay dag interpret mo na delikado. Kay dili ra ba mao ang ipasabot sa nagsuot niya na. Mo na bantayan na to, no? Di hay ko sa ang usa ka maestra ha nangutana sa iyang estudyante. The student who sat Dreamily at his desk, nga murag na kita sa maestra nga murag nang tanga ang isudyante, no? Ningunda yung maestra, Pedro, do you have trouble hearing? Two bags, Pedro. Siya, no ma'am. Ningunda siya, I have trouble listening. Ang yung trouble not the hearing, but listening. Say, pasabot na na. Ha? Kay di aywa siya kasabot. Hearing is a different from listening. Ang pagpaminaw o pagsabot lahi. Jesus has already found that the Pharisees and the scribe are not listening on him. He, they are not listening to him anymore. They are blocking out the word interiorly with suspicion and interiorly with hostility. Kaduda sila dito sa ilang mga kailadman. Kay madudahon man sila, they are so judgmental. So, kung magduda ka, did you come to? Jesus turned to an alternative way of proclaiming the kingdom of God. Kung sa may alternative nga yung gihimo, gahimo siya o binisaya pa, sumbingay. He uses parables, sumbingay. No? Ano bang magamit o pagsumbingay? Sa sabutan na parehan ako sa iba, may kukumusugo ni Joan. May ngunay ko nga, Jo, ingon sila ka ng bago na itong kapilami ko nun na tinood ka na, Jo. Oh, muna yung sumbingay niya, yeah, dali-dali na timpla si Sister Joanna kong kape. So yun na na, na muna yung gamit ni Jesus, aron mas dali, mas sabtan ba? No? Ano man? When Jesus uses parable, He can teach the profound truths of the kingdom in a way that gives instruction to the simple but amazed and confounded the proud. With parable, the same word of God is sown 
in the hearts of every man. Kay din ha sa pasumbingay, dili man, dali ra kayo ikasabog ang pulong sa ginoo ngadto sa mga matigga nga kasing-kasing sa katawan. Apan dili tanan adunay dunggan sa pagpaminaw. No? Kay ng uban gud wa man gud ipa kanao gipalahos lang. No? Mo na nga somberly notice the word o oh, gapabungol-bungol lang. No? Some find it only superficially appealing and some stifle with the worldly preoccupations. Tinuyuan nga wa maminaw o nagpa buang-buang lang, nagpabisi-bisi. No? O na na ang uban. No? So, ang uban, some ponder it in their heart and yield a rich service kay naminaw man. Ang uban, wa yun, namatay lang kay actually wa ba yun lagi tanong. No? So mga kaigsunan, our heart are created to be good soil. No? Muna itong kasing-kasing mayo ni ngayuta. We can certainly bear much fruit. Mamunga o taong mayo mga daghang mga uh, bunga. No? If we strive to treasure the word and let it grow in us. Muna ito yung pabuhiun sa itong kasing-kasing. Padang uban, wala. No? The power, after all, is not ours, but it is His. Our Lord has already won us freedom from all obstacle to the growth of the Word. Yun saman, by His offering of Himself on the cross. It is very evident from the Hebrew reading that Jesus' sacrifice touches all of us on the deepest interior level, filling us with the new possibilities for bearing fruits. No? Na, na sa Hebrew 8.12, na gaya ko na, na, I will put my laws in their hearts and I will write them upon their minds. Their sins and their evil doings, I will remember no more. Klaro kayo, eh? Hebrew 8.12. Mga kaiksunan, the Lord give us a new heart, one which has truly good soil. No? When Christ had finished His work on earth, hinumdo mo, wa man yun makikuban na ito hangtod karon ang buhi ng physical sa itong ginoo. Namo na yung istorya sa una. Doon sa kaistorya, sa dihang may balik siya nga tuda sa langit. Niyo, gisugas siya ni uh, Gabriel, no? Angel Gabriel. Kunya, ningon sa Gabriel, Lord, is it permitted to ask what plans you have made for carrying on your word on earth? No? May mo ba mga utana ko kung unsa imong laing plano? Ha? Sa pagsangyaw sa imong mga pulong dito sa kalibutan, niyong nang gino, I have chosen 12 men and some women. Doon na ako'y pinili nga dosi ka, tao, uban mga babae. Niyong siya, they will pass my message on till it reaches the whole world. Ha? Na na, huma na siyang pili. Niyong si Angel Gabriel, supposing these few people fail you. Kung dili ni sila malampuson, kanay mong pinili. What other plans have you made? Doon na ka ba plan B? Nga buhaton, haron, masangyaw yun. May pahiyom si Jesus, bingo siya. I have no other plan. I am counting on them. See? Yun sa iyang pagsali kanila. Hmm? Muna mga kaigsunan. Christ is counting on you. No? Do not fail, Jesus. He has given you the work to spread His message. Magkaigsunan, you wastes of love members, will you fail, Jesus? Will you fail Him? 
Of course not. Diba? Kani ako taron. Kinila atong pagtambong sa atong prayer meeting matag-usa na ito sa atong panimalay sa lain lugar. You did not fail Jesus. Now, go spread His word. Bring back more soul to God. Uh, let us put ourselves now in, in the presence of God to promise our Lord uh, nga atong isang yaw ang iyong mga pulungan. Dili kita magtinapulan. Nga mangita kita pamaagi. Bisa niara kita sa atong mga panimalay. So na, ibutag na to itong kaglingon sa presensya sa Gino. Gino, lang itong amahan. We will promise to you that we will spread your love to our fellow men. Lang itong amahan. Para na mo dili ego, ngayon mong ipadalay mong bugtong anak ka na mo din sa kalibutan. Sa paghatag din mo sa imong gugma ka na mo. Kini nga muna daw at kagugma. Amo kini ipambit sa mong mga kasilinganan, sa mong mga kaila. Kunun sa kabililhon kining gugma nga imong gipapit ka namo pinagi sa pagpadala nimo sa imong bugtong anak. Now brothers and sisters. In your own word. Tadawa sa imong kagulingon kunun sa imong mga pagkulang karon. Sa atong, as member of Voices of Love, how do we serve God in our own way? Did we commit the sins of omission by not doing what we are supposed to do? Kuno sa imo pagkulang karon, pangutan na imo kaugalingon. Then promise God that you will change that attitude. Gibilin sa kino kanimo karon the task to bring back more soul. It is your duty. You are answerable to Him. Na na kanimo. The responsibility is yours. Go, spread the word of God. Say mong pamilya, mga relatives, say mong mga kaila o kasalinganan. Mga kaigsunan, brothers and sisters, the oasis of love. It is our duty to bring back more soul to Him. Da kong kalipay sa gino. Kadagi ang gitanong sa imong kasing-kasing, migitib, kadang iyang gitisok din ha, skilan man ni mo, miturok, Milupang, huwag na munga pagmayo. Yes, Jesus is so happy. Wada'y masayang, wa makawang ang iyong pagpalansang sa cross, wa makawang ang iyong paghatag sa iyong kawalingon. Alang ka na to, alang sa itong kaluasan. Kay kita dahi ng paggamit, aron pagdalagbalik sa mga igso na itong nga wala sa dalan na sa lag sa dalan Lord thank you Lord for choosing us thank you Lord for trusting us Lord
we will tell the world, Lord, about your love. We'll spread to the last part of the world your love to us, your word. Salamat sa imong pagsalig ka mo, Lord. Salamat. Magkaisunan. Again, in the last part of this, we will continue to climb the staircase of healing with Jesus. To be healed from the recent hurts and pains that receive. To the recent inequities that we have kept. Focus now. Try to focus. Yes. Focus that stay in front of you. You can see that in your mind. Again. Climb slowly. Slowly climb with Jesus, side by side with Jesus. Yes. Slowly, step by step. Lord, as you climb with them, Lord Jesus, I ask you again, Lord, any defect in the physical, Lord, let their physical body be healed completely, Lord. Be repaired what is needed to be repaired including the immune system, Lord. Boast it, Lord, to their best to fight back. Any foreign matter that will come to their body, that will touch their organ, Lord, right now, those who are victim of the COVID-19 right now, you COVID-19, you spirit of COVID-19 right now, set them free. I cast you out from them. I bind you to the foot of the cross of Jesus. And Jesus will be the one to dispose of you in the name of Jesus. Be dissolved right now in the name of Jesus. Be broken and be dissolved in Jesus' name. Shandala manana namana huwa yela shalana. Jesus. Restore everything in their body, Lord Jesus. Restore all the damage, Lord Jesus. Bring it to normal, Lord. In Jesus' name, Shandalamanayaya. Jesus. Heal them inside out. Jesus. Praise you. Glory be to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever and ever. Amen. Sangalan sa mahan, sa anak, si Espiritu Santo. Amen. Mga kaigsunan, salamat sa pakiguban. Kanako, dini in the prayer meeting. Promise you, every Wednesday, I'll be with you. You know, I miss you so much, although we cannot meet personally, but I can feel your spirit, live and alive, joining this prayer meeting. So, Mona, try to invite more friends uh, to be in this prayer meeting every Wednesday. So, dagan salamat. Again, see you next week. Shalom. Once again, thank you very much to you all who's been joining with us tonight and to our brother Alan Obelgas for the praise and worship, Sister Lani Naharo, Music Ministry, and of course, our dear Tatay Dodong, and our Cebu. 
Catholic Television Network. Thank you very much for this venue and vehicle that we are here for you on our prayer meeting online. We will see you again on next prayer meeting online on next Wednesday. This is Sister Darling saying thank you and bless you all who've been with us tonight. And now we are going to sing our Wazes of Love. This is our community. Bye. See you next week.